All right, so a little update on the stock market. You know, I've put up videos in like recent weeks about why there's opportunity in the stock market, why it's down for, you know, except for no reason, but basically fueled by the whole pandemic. And sure enough, it has rebounded. In fact, it is, which day with the, which date was this? I think this was yesterday. Yeah, as of yesterday, right? The stock market was up 25% from its March 23 low, meaning where it was, everything was just going down and now it's rebounded as, you know, common sense would dictate that it would. So does that mean you've missed the boat? Perhaps. I'm seeing stuff where people are saying that there could be more bad news ahead, which could cause another dip. But, and some people ask me then, what has it, has it bottom out? Will it be, will it be even further drops and stuff like that? Not, I actually said at the time, it was time to just jump in and buy stuff that was undervalued for no other reason than hysteria. And as one guy so eloquently said, dystopia. Anyways, so does that mean that there's no more opportunities out there? Uh, no, not exactly. Like I said, there could be more news coming. And what I would say is, if something happens that causes another drop, which very well could, don't sit on the sideline. Make sure you do something. Now, in the meantime, I've also mentioned how, I guess this is going to be a summary video, isn't it? I also mentioned how you could pick up some municipal bonds where yields have gone up. And again, it's a pretty safe bet. It's like 0.003% chance of default. So basically, if you uh, invest in a bond, you're doing so with the expectation you're going to be paid an interest on the money you invested, which is in a loan. So you're going to get an interest payment. And then at maturity, let's say it's 10 years, you're going to get your principal back in addition to your interest, which is what makes it a, a fairly, let's say, simple investment, right? So municipal bonds where, again, there's not a lot of people riding the uh, subway, but to use New York as an example, but there will be people riding the subway again. In fact, those people are going to find a way. They always raise the prices. They're going to find a way to, they might just enforce the whole, if you, if you uh, skip and you get fined $100, they're going to find a way to be just fine. So that might be a play to do. There might be some opportunity there. Uh, municipal bonds is always opportunity. Like I said, it's tax-free investments. But one area and I'm going to talk about this in detail in another video, but one area where I do see some interesting opportunity is in the real estate field. So again, and this is another thing I've mentioned right now, right now, there are people who are either growing uh, tighter or they're going to grow apart and there's going to be some issues. There's going to be some divorces. There's going to be some more tragic circumstances. And, but again, this is business. So this is just the reality of things. Just gonna cause some estate planning and division of assets. Just look out for that because it's gonna be assets gonna hit the market or you will even have an opportunity to, to get them before they hit the market. If you're being savvy, I'll talk about that in more detail. But I do think that the real estate sector right now is where you can actually find some great value simply because, and if we take the tragedy element out of it, there's also the factor of people don't have to, they're not obligated to pay rent. Now, on the other hand, see, if you're a tenant, you're paying rent to the landlord. If you're a landlord, you don't just own the thing, you actually own the bank. This is why a lot of times people, you should always pay rent and don't, don't fuck around with your landlord because while you have to answer to them, they have to answer to the bank. If you don't pay your rent, they can't pay their mortgage. And then all of you are in trouble. So just keep that in mind as you, as you assume, um, as you go on this journey of, uh, Elevation, elevation of financial uh, know-how and consciousness and whatnot. Just make sure, just keep that in mind. But for that law that people are not required to pay rent for the next 12 months, again, the banks are giving landlords some leeway as well. But these are some things that are causing, just the circumstance and the uncertainty is causing people to want to liquidate, to not have to run the risk of having to, uh, you know, oh my God, my tenant's not gonna pay rent. What's gonna happen here? This is an emotional reaction that's leading someone to want to sell or at least be incentivized to sell, okay? We talked about unlocking seller motivation, okay? So this is the way that you can find some opportunity in the real estate field. I'm gonna talk about this in more detail, but I just wanted to give sort of a summary video of how this whole pandemic at this time is offering opportunity, what the landscape is looking like and how you can sort of take advantage going forward depending on what happens next.